ever seen yourself in the mirror and wondered why do my under eyes look so tired? Today we are diving into why this happens. And I've got three science packed fixes that actually work. Let's go. Hi guys, I'm Neha. Welcome back. So dark circles under eyes can be a concern for many. Whether they are due to genetics, naturally thin skin, pigmentation, fluid retention or the stresses of daily life. While I can't promise they will disappear entirely, I have personally tried and tested three science-backed approaches that can help reduce their appearance. And before I talk you through all of them, let's first understand why dark circles happen in the first place. Number one reason is thin under eye skin lets blood vessels show through. Studies find skin under eyes is up to 60% thinner than your cheek skin. Number two, is pigmentation. UV exposure and rubbing excessively can cause post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Number three is fluid pooling. Under the very delicate eye tissue creates shadows when it shifts or drains. So now that we know the culprits, here are three fixes you can start tonight and each backed by data. Fix number one, stimulate collagen and thicken that skin. For this, you can use retinoids which help boost collagen production by up to 41% after 12 weeks of use, leading to thicker skin and reduced translucency. Peptides also help by signaling the skin's support cells to produce more collagen and elastin, strengthening the skin's structure. And how do you use that? At night, apply a pea-sized amount of any retinol cream that based on your skin type and use it two times a week. On the other nights, use peptide rich serum. Over 8 to 12 weeks, you should notice firmer, less translucent skin under your eyes. Fix number two, target pigmentation with brighteners. To target this, you can use vitamin C, which reduces melanin formation by inhibiting tyrosinase. Studies show a 30 to 40 percent improvement in dark spots after 12 weeks. Also, you can use niacinamide to reduce transfer of pigment to skin cells, lightening hyperpigmented patches by 20 to 25 percent in eight weeks. Apply it in the morning after cleansing, vitamin C serum followed by a niacinamide booster and always top it off with a broad spectrum SPF to prevent new pigment. Fix number three, deep hydration and lymphatic drainage. To fix this, you can use hyaluronic acid that can hold up to thousand times its weight in water, increasing skin hydration by 30 to 40 percent within one hour of application. Improved moisture plumps out hollows and smooths fine lines reducing shallow depth. After cleansing, apply hyaluronic acid under eye serum, pat gently until it's dry to boost moisture. Now that you know what are your target concerns and which ingredients to look for, let's see how to put all these ingredients together in your skincare routine. Combine all three. Of course, you can't use them all together, but here is how you can use them. Use a retinol serum or peptide serum at night. Use vitamin C, niacinamide in the morning along with SPF. And hyaluronic serum you can use daily. If you are in a drier climate, you can go both for day and night. But if you are in a humid climate, I would recommend use it only once. Once you incorporate this in your routine, you will start seeing less shadow and a more rested look in about six to eight weeks. Let me share a few personal favorites that have really worked for me, especially if you have a skin like mine, which is sensitive, acne prone, and easily turns oily in humidity. I have tested these over eight weeks with no irritation. So here we go. Nip and Fab Renew Blemish Gel Treatment 10%. This one's pretty potent. It's a high strength formula. So I only use it twice a week at night. It helps with texture and clarity, but be careful not to apply too close to your lash line, it can sting a bit if it's get too close. Next up is Fleur and B Eyes Eyes Baby Anti-Aging Eye Cream. This has become a go-to for me. It's packed with niacinamide, peptides and even a bit of salicylic acid. It hydrates without being too heavy and it smooths out fine lines nicely. Third one on the list is Garnier Vitamin C Eye Cream. Perfect for daytime use. It's light, layers well under makeup and combines vitamin C with niacinamide and caffeine. Great for brightening and debuffing. Just a reminder, don't skip your SPF after this. The fourth one, which is also one of my favorites, L'Oreal Revitalift 2.5% Hyaluronic Acid plus Caffeine Eye Serum. This one's my most used. It gives an instant plumping effect to those under eyes hollows and feels super refreshing. But honestly, all four are solid choices, especially if your skin like mine tends to get overwhelmed by heavy hydration in humid weather. Now, it's important to remember, even after consistent use of over 8 to 12 weeks, you shouldn't expect like drastic changes. Topical skincare is just one piece of the puzzle. Factors like sleep quality, hydration, diet and lifestyle habits such as a smoking and alcohol consumption also play significant role in the appearance of dark circles. Addressing these on the side can also enhance the effectiveness of your skincare products. And that wraps up this video on three science packed strategies to brighten dark circles. Which one are you excited to try first? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more evidence-based skincare. And I will see you all in my next video. Until then, stay tuned, stay beautiful.